Hallo all miteinander, guten Abend und willkommen zu Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life. I am so excited for this. I've talked about this in other videos before, but uh, Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life was one of, if not my favorite game on the GameCube. I mean, it's debatable between that and Animal Crossing, but God, that was a, it was just a very important game to me. And it is easily my favorite Harvest Moon game. And the fact that it's now here on just current gen consoles updated and everything. I'm so excited. And hopefully you guys are too. This is going to be uh, the first... Uh, how do I want to word this? But the first game in a while that I've done by, by myself uh, without my buddies. I know this channel is primarily stop motion, but every once in a while I do, I do like to play some games. And uh, recently we've been doing a lot of uh, multiplayer stuff, so it's kind of nice we're going to do some single player stuff. It all started with a letter. Can't remember how many years it's been since I got one. See, I had this friend once. We used to share all our hopes and dreams with each other. And the sender of this letter is Kid. The letter was all about life in the city. The kid asked a bunch of questions about farming. And at the end wrote, I'd like to try working on the farm. This, okay, so this already is all new dialogue. Because I don't remember it word for word. But the uh, original dialogue was Takakura here. Talking to my dad, I think? And they were basically talking about, like, their dream together and stuff like that. It didn't really involve... Well, I guess it did involve me, but it like, wasn't mentioned at this scene, you know? It's a little different. To a city kid, I guess, life in Forgotten... Forgotten Valley! Okay, so that's new. So here's the thing. Uh, I'm very nostalgic for this game. So I'll probably be referring to things as they were. So Forget-Me-Not Valley instead of Forgotten Valley. Uh, must have seemed appealing. But, yeah, uh, that's interesting. For Forgotten Valley. Well, it took me by surprise, I'll say that much. Yeah, it took me by surprise, too, there, Tucker. I closed my eyes and saw my old friend smile. Just like it was yesterday. Yeah. I will say, as much as I disliked, uh... Hold on. Takes guts to travel all the way from the big city to Forgotten Valley. A place most folks, well, forgot about. Oh, what the? Oh, we get to, I forgot about this. We get to customize. Oh, this is really, this is a, a new thing. Well, anyways, as I was saying, uh, in uh, Story of Seasons, Friends of Mirror Town, a remake of Harvest Moon, Friends of Mirror Town, I wasn't a massive fan of the, uh, the character design. Like, they really changed the art style, and the art style did change here, too. And they, you know, A Wonderful Life was more of a, uh, a realistic approach. Your face is clear, cannot be changed. Okay. That's fine. That's, that's okay. But yeah, uh, I, I wasn't a huge fan of their, you know, remade designs. But, uh, I'm, I'm kind of okay with how they did characters in this game. It looks a lot more realistic. It's kind of like, uh, Pioneers of Olive Town, if not better. Are these all the hair choices? Are they said no more? Hmm. This is really the only ponytail. All right. Well, I if it isn't obvious, I'm building a model based off of me. Uh, so I got a few options here. I could use this. I could use this. My hair is longer than this, but I guess I could. Uh, I think this isn't a ponytail. It's a bun, but I'm gonna go with the bun only because I really like the the strands. It's actually kind of cute. So. I'll go with that, why not? Brown hair, yeah, that's good. Uh, didn't I just unlock a Maku Maka guy or something? The the Yeti outfit? I think that was, you guys saw it at the beginning of the episode. Well, we'll stick with the regular farming clothes, I guess. And my name is Satoma. The one, the only, the greatest farmer you've ever met. Let's do this. This is kind of weird that we're doing this now with the uh, the character is uh, characterization because typically oh whoa what the oh this is new so you're Toma huh I'm real sorry to hear about your old man he was a good guy gonna make a lot of friends the next life I bet ah uh, thanks Takakura I gotta say though you must take after him no average youngin would want to pack up and come to Forgotten Valley of all places. Alright, well, I really miss Forget-Me-Not Valley, but... Oh, whoa, that's cool! There's moss on the building! Uh, anyways. 
Um, but Forgotten Valley is growing on me a little bit. Well, once you spend a little time here, I'm sure you'll figure out if it's really the life you want. Yeah, oh, thanks, Tucker. All right, this is it. Here's the farm. So this is interesting. Uh, in the original, after the beach scene, you would just start here. So that's kind of cool. I like that little uh, that little intro. That's really cute. This is the land your old man and I found. The buildings are run down, sure, but you can still use them. Soil's fertile enough to grow some crops on, too. See this pasture? You spread some fertilizer on you'll have a place for your livestock to graze. Ah, oh, man, can we, take, can we just take a minute to listen to this music? Like, I don't know if you guys know this, uh, but the original soundtrack was such a banger that they kept all the original music, they just kind of updated it a little bit, and kept every original sound effect in the game. Like... God, someone someone who loved Harvest Moon really worked on this game, and it shows. And I'm so happy, because, like, there are some games that fall into the hands of people who just don't care. And it's just like, oh, man. The poop hits the fan real hard. So how about it, kid? Ready to go to the farm? <laughs> on second thought. <laughs> Wait, what happens if I click? Will it just, like, instantly end? Or, like, game over? I don't think I'm a farmer. Nah, we're not, I don't want to do that. Uh, but in, in uh, I think it's Harvest Moon DS Cute. If you say that, the game literally just ends. It, like, just cuts to the credits or whatever. Like, the, the mayor gets all sad. It's absolutely hilarious. Yeah, let's get started. I'll be a farmer. I'm actually super excited uh, to farm in this game because in uh, Harvest Moon, Harvest Moon Friends of Mineral Town, I really, really, really loved farming. But I never really farmed in this particular game. And also, farming just wasn't the greatest back then. So I'm excited to see how that's been improved. <laughs> that's what I like to hear. I'm sure your old man's cheering you on, too. Come on, then. Might as well give you the grand tour. Yeah, let's see how everything lo That's new. What the... This here's the barn. It's where you'll raise cows, horses, and sheep. I'll take you inside later. Um, what, what happened to the shed, Gramps? Oh, we're actually going to it. Oh, what is this? There used to be a shed here. This is a box. What a downgrade. <laughs> Here's the ship. The shipping bin. Wait a minute. The shipping bin was in a different building. Did I lose two, bu two buildings? Oh, God. I got to curse getting old. Uh, here's the shipping bin. Get to know it, because it's going to be your best friend. Why'd you, why'd you say it like that? I don't know. If you ever got milk or any other products to ship, put them in there and I'll send them for you at the city market the next morning. Okay, so as weird as it is, not going to be able to have, not having both those buildings, this is a little bit nicer. It, it'll be a lot faster because, like, I don't I don't know what the loading speed is going to be in this game. But uh, in the original installment, it took a, cu a few minutes to load into a building and you'd have to go in and out to, to sell stuff in there. Yeah, I, I might like this. If there's something you want me to buy, write it down in the ledger here. Yeah, the, yeah, every, the building's gone. They literally just put everything right here. That's interesting. So then what did they do with everything that was in the shed? Because this wasn't in the shed where, where this is. I'm curious where all that stuff is. Like, where all the tools you could unlock, uh, fertilizer and stuff. There, I think there was discs in there, tomato seeds. A whole bunch of stuff you can get in there. I wonder what they did with all that. If there's something you want me to buy, write it down in the ledger here. Interesting. Oh, what is this? Oh, there's your storage ship. Wait a minute. What? They really, they, they removed the buildings and then just swapped their locations. Okay. Oh, there's your storage shed and your food storage. If your bag ever starts getting too full, you can throw items you don't need in one of those. Okay. Okay, so they just kind of like swapped them and just made them smaller. Can I upgrade these stations? Like these look shabby. Are those able to be upgraded? What is this? I'll put the smaller items you buy and any profit you make here. Uh, okay. Other folks might leave gifts or... Gifts or... Whoa, 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 whoa. Other folks might leave gifts or rewards around here, too, so keep an eye out for the gifts and rewards. What? So they don't, like, just give me the... So, in the original, I know you could, like... That bell's new. Uh, you could befriend people, and they would give you stuff, like, uh, example, Gallon would give you a fishing rod. So, what, is he not... Am I not gonna get cutscene for that? Is he just gonna drop the fishing rod at the door? I don't know. This is the coop. You might have guessed, but this is where you'll raise your chickens. Chickens! We're gonna have chickens. Absolutely love chickens. Ah, uh, there's the fields. Ah, uh, there's one of your fields. 
You can plant seeds there, but you'll need a hoe to plow the soil first. Speaking of which, I got a few packs of seeds and some basic tools for you. Try using them when you get a chance. Yeah, I'm assuming they're in the, the shed. <gasps> oh, here we go, the dogs! What do the dogs look like? Oh my god, <laughs> look how cute they are! Dude, the pointier dog they did a great job with. Uh, I feel like the floppy dog had a different expression because he looked he looked more like a basset hound originally. Now he kind of looks like a beagle. Uh, but I don't know which one we're gonna choose. Huh? I guess a couple of stray dogs settled in here, and it looks like they've already warmed up to you. Please give me the wait. Please tell me they gave me the option to keep both. Please, I've always wanted to keep both. All right, all right, I'll let you keep. Aw, but j <laughs> dang it. All right, all right, I'll let you keep one, but just one, right? I ain't a huge fan of dogs. What, Takakura? How could you? How could you say those things? How could you not love dogs? Oh my god, look at these faces! Look how priceless they are! Oh, and I have to name them too. Oh, uh, I don't know- I don't know what to name- Alright, well, I know what we're gonna do. I want the floppy-eared dog. We're gonna pretend it's a girl. And I'm gonna randomly just call it Bessie. Why? Because it's the first thing that just popped into my head, and God be damned if I'm gonna sit here and Think of a really thought-out name. Sounds good. Try to find the owner for the other pup next time I head into the city. All right, Bessie, you're with me. You gotta be my friend. Guess I'll build a little one a doghouse too. I'm curious to see where he's gonna put that because it looks like they've moved some of the the buildings. But typically, it would go on the the side there. Also, that's a really nice looking house. I feel like it was a different color, roof-wise, but I I really like this design. And this here is your house. Well, gee, thanks, Takakura. I tried to fix it up a bit before you arrived, uh, so I should be able to sell right in. Oh, gee, thanks, man. Uh, oh, uh, my house. See that cabin over there? That's where I live. You live pretty close. Well, uh, you know, I just, uh, well, I, well, that covers the main facilities, ain't much, but if you save them, maybe you can expand some of them. Oh, uh, before I forget, I said we'd go into the barn later, didn't I? Well, it's later. <laughs> Follow me. All right, so if this is like the original, there should be a cow in here, I'm hoping. Oh, this poor cow. I hope I don't kill it. I was never good at raising... Whoa, what the... What is that? Is that a breeding pen over there? Whoa, that's cool. Uh, I bought you a cow as a welcome present. Her feed bin is all set up over there, and she'll need a name, too. Alright, a cow name, uh... Well, we'll call her... we'll call her BB. Uh, how do you... get a triangle. BB the cow. Why not? That's a cute name. BB, huh? Uh, yeah, sure, I like it. Uh, she's our first animal, so take a care. I'm sorry, R, what is this, communism? That's my cow. You, you don't do anything for this farm, Takakura. I mean, you may help me a little bit, but you don't, you don't work for me. She gave birth about ten days ago, so she'll produce plenty of milk. As long as she's healthy, you should be able to milk her twice a day. Twice a day? Whoa, is that new? That might be new. I don't recall being able to... Oh, there it is. I was like, wait a minute, she usually makes a noise. Uh, but I don't remember that being a thing twice a day. That might be new. I, I don't remember. I think that's about that about sums it up. <clears throat> I think that about sums up the farm. Oh, wait, uh, we got a sign name for it, and that is... What's your farm name? Fudo Farm, because why not? That's my, uh, in-story last name, so... Fudo Toma, so now it's Fudo Farm, because it's my farm and not your farm. Fudo Farm. Hmm. Has a nice ring to it, sure. Well, I've got you. I might as well introduce you to the locals. I'm no so I, I'm no social butterfly, but a youngin like you is sure to charm the heck out of them. <laughs> Ready to go? Yeah, let's go meet my future wife, baby. Huh? What's the matter? Well, nothing. I'm just I'm just excited to meet nice girls. What, what, what do you mean? Oh yeah, you can. Pay. Nah, nah, nah. I'm ready. I'm ready. I love this. I hope it's. I mean, I hope it's like the original because the original it was it was just really cute. Uh, we'll see what they did here. All right, let's get to it then. And this leads into something I was talking earlier uh, when when I was surprised about the Nick. Whoa! Tim has eyes. That's weird. Uh, I mean, they're, that wait, that was racist. I mean, they're open. Like he had like little lines for eyes in the original. It's weird seeing him with like actual open eyes. I'm not used to that. Oh Jesus. Uh, but 
yeah, this this is the segment here where they would make you design your name. So what I'm curious is like, why didn't they just put the customization part here? Why did they randomly just slap it at the beginning there? The Lee over in that's what was this called originally? It definitely wasn't that. Uh, this year's the Lee over in. Tay runs the Tay. Who? I'm assuming that's Tim. Okay. Uh, Tay runs the place with his wife Lau. Okay, so Lau is Ruby. Okay, yeah, Tim runs with his wife Lau. Lau. So are these like their actual names from the Japanese version? Because if that's the case, that's really cool. I don't actually know their uh, authentic Japanese names, but Tay and Lau are definitely Asian names, so I'm assuming those are their original names. Oh, and Rock is still Rock. That's nice. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> this here's the layover in. Tay runs the place with her wife, Lau. Their son, Rock, lives with them, too. Please tell me Nami's still Nami. Like, that's already a Japanese name. They didn't have to change that. Oh my god, look at her, look at her smile. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> Nami! All right! Woo! Team Nami, let's go. Oh, and there's a girl named Nami who's staying up on the second floor. Yeah, we don't get to see her. <gasps> Gallon and Nina! Wait, Gary? <laughs> Gary? That's the funny way to say Gallon. This, this is Gary and his wife Nina. I will try to use their new names. Like I said, I'm very nostalgic for this game. But I will do my best to, to use their old names. Ah, oh, Chris is still Chris. Thank God. Hey, Chris, how you doing? So unfortunate you married Wally. I, I really love Chris, man. She's just so pretty. And there he is, Wally. Sully. Wait, what? Sully and their son. He, well, okay, he was still... Why? Okay. Literally, the wife and son still have the same names. Why did you change their... Why did you change Wally's name to Sully? Like, I doubt that's his Japanese name. So what What was the point of that? What was wrong with Wally? Also, wait, Wally and Sully? <laughs> this dude's from a Pixar movie. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's Chris's husband, Sully, and their son, Hugh. Yeah. I hope he still does that. Yeah. Oh, uh, here we go. Griffin and, uh, and Muffy here. Gavin. Oh, boy. God, so many things have changed. Gavin here is the owner and head bar barista. Uh, at the Bluebird Cafe. Bluebird? Wasn't it Blue Moon? That was Blue... I think this original was called the Blue Moon, but, uh, okay. Bluebird Cafe... Wait, Cafe! Wait a minute! This did change! This was, this was the, the bar! Wait a minute! They, they they turned it into a cafe, really? Well, we're, we're bars too edgy for modern society? Jesus. Alright, uh, at the Blue... The, the Bluebird Cafe... Molly helps uh, helps him out part time. Molly, oh no, they changed Muffy. I mean, to be fair, what what kind of name is Muffy? To be honest, though, I'm just nostalgic for it. But let's be real here. What kind of name is Muffy? <gasps> oh, look how pretty Lumina is. Oh, thank God, her name's still Lumina. Oh, thank God. But oh, look how cute she is. I wonder if she is she marryable in this game. Lumina was a special character. Well, I'll, I'll talk about that. At, well, hold on, let me read this first. Uh, Romana here owns the villa with, where she lives with her granddaughter, Lumina. Their butler over there is called Sebastian. Oh, thank God none of these people were touched. That's nice. That's nice. They're all still still the same. But yeah, in the original, Lumina wasn't married in the English version uh, due to just her age issue. I forget how old she actually was. But in Japan, the age of consent is a lot younger. And Oh, they're actually showing us Gustafa. What? That's cool. Oh. <gasps> Well, let's just take a minute to listen to his guitar while I finish uh, talking about Lumina. So, when they released Harvest Moon a special Wonderful Life, a sp uh, Harvest Moon a Wonderful Life Special Edition for PS2, they, I guess, fixed Lumina's age and made her marriageable, which was weird to me because her age is never, like, mentioned at all. So I just found that odd. I don't, I don't know what the reasoning was for that. But in the special version, she is marriageable, and she's marriageable in Harvest Moon DS Cute. So... I don't know, but personally, she she's my favorite pick. Like, Luna is just really sweet, really innocent, and just like, I don't know, she's fun to talk to. Nami, I also really like Nami, but it's just like, you know. Wait, we didn't see, um, Cecilia. When, when would she usually show? Wasn't she like one of the first people, like after Tim and Ruby? I don't remember now, but we didn't see her yet, what the heck? Oh, the guy playing guitar. That's Gustafa. Hey, Gustafa, still Gustafa. He's a he's a real character. Always strumming some tune or another. 
I love how they added this, because literally in, like, the original, Takakura just says, oh, down there, there's just a bunch of weirdos. Whoa, what happened to Cody? Uh, Cody, you lost a lot of meat, my dude. The guy over there is... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? The guy over there is Gordy. What the fuck is that? What is go What does that even mean? That guy over there is... Why? His name was Cody. That was a normal name. What the hell is Gordy? Is it, who has it? Oh my god, what is this? The guy, that guy over there is Gordy. I made a few words, but a real passionate artist, apparently. Okay, well, at least he's still a passionate artist, but like, what, what kind of name change is that? That's not even a name, is it? Oh, here we go. Here's, they are. All right, Vesta, still Vesta, at least. That's Vesta. She runs the agricultural farm here. Dang. Vesta, actually, I like her model. It's actually not bad at all. Oh, there is Matthew. Uh, what was his original name? I don't even, I can't even think, uh, oh, Marlin. Marlin, yeah. Well, at least Matthew's a regular name. Excuse me, oh my goodness. Oh, there's Matthew, her little brother. Wait. Oh, okay, we're still talking about, okay, wait. Over there is Matthew, her little brother. Cecilia helps them both with farm work. They sell seeds here, so take a look at their stuff when you get a chance. See, growing up, I always thought, oh my god, Cecilia's beautiful. I always thought uh, Cecilia was uh, Marvin's brother. But no, I guess Marvin's related to Vesta, and Cecilia just kind of works there. I guess that's the same case with Muffy at the bar. What is that? Wait a minute. What's that giant bulletin board? What the heck? That's new. Uh, a few other folks live in that direction. We've got the twins who craft fireworks and an oddball scientist. Best not to ask about his experiments. Ah, uh, he didn't call them weirdos. Damn. Plus, there's an archaeologist staying in a tent up by the waterfall there. He and his assistant dig up all sorts of weird stuff. <gasps> oh, I wonder if Flora's going to be marryable. Oh, I would love to marry Flora. All right, that should cover everyone. Uh, thanks, Dr. Kerr. I'm most interested to see if that's a, a thing. I'm sure you're exhausted. It's been a long day, so take it easy. For now. Uh, sure, Dr. Kerr. Thank you. If you think of any other questions for me later, I don't... Don't hesitate to ask, all right? Sure thing, man. Thank you. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, there's something I forgot to give you. What? What? Is that a camera? What? This camera belonged to your old man. Ain't the newest model, obviously, but it does the job well enough. Oh, they're bringing back the camera feature from uh, uh, Pioneers of Olive Town. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's try taking a t let's try taking a test photo real quick. So this is new what in the oh my god I did I just made it oh no I was really about to ask up uh, this upcoming scenes where we're gonna meet the the spirit elves uh, or the harvest spirits and in the original the main character you didn't get to design him but he makes a a really goofy blushy face I'm curious if I'm gonna make that same face oh god I don't know if I want to see that. You can use it whenever you're feeling, uh, photographic. I don't... Uh, sure, thanks, Takakura. Now get some rest, kid. You've earned it. Hey, thanks, man. Heart? I don't even remember... What I, I know one of them was named Flack. That's about it. I don't remember these guys... These guys' names, so... Oh, I've never seen a nature spirit like that before. Now we're called nature spirits, A. Eh? Hey, hey, who could it be? Also, weird fact, uh, but the yellow guy, when I was younger, I always thought his hair was a green visor. It wasn't until many, 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 many years later I realized, like, oh, wait, they all just have green hair. No, I just thought that was a visor and he was just, like, some punk hip-hop guy. But no, he's just a chubby dude with green bangs. That's all he is. Hey, hey, who could it be? Beat the heck out of me. Far as I know, we're the only nature spirits in Forgotten Valley. Okay, so they're no longer harvest spirits. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, so what are we looking at then, boys? Good question. Hey, buddy, what's your name? What in the... Toma? Gotcha, so you're a nature spirit named Toma. Roger that. The name's Ace. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm Jack. Nice to greet ya. Wait. Oh, Hart's the... And my name's Hart. Let's all be friends, okay? Wait a minute. I didn't get to 
be ha- Oh my god, that's actually super cute! What the hell? Nah! Now why is that so cute? What the heck? Ooh, look at- oh, I start out with the kitchen? What? Whoa, that's cool. In the beginning, I don't think- Oh wait, yes you did. Yeah, you did. I think you did. Yeah, you had a sink, I think. Wait a minute, I might just be crazy. I might just be crazy. Oh my god, is that a photo thing? Wait a minute, can I like put photos up there? Corkboard, what is this? Is this for a It is! Oh my god, that's beautiful. Hey, Tama, wait up a sec! Before you go on, don't forget to check Chuck Curse now so you can find him. Are you Wait a minute, what? I have to- Really? Really? It's forcing me to- Wow, okay, well this is no Hey, whoa, potential partners, wait a minute. If you plan on staying here for the long haul, you'll probably want to find a partner to spend your life with. Hopefully you'll find somebody who really clicks with you in your first year. Go get him, kid! Wait, what? That's it? <laughs> that didn't explain everything! That told me not- I mean, there is a dedicated scene to talking about the blue feather, but it's just like, that, that explained literally nothing. But, alright. Uh, we have seasons here, that's kind of cool. Valley life. Got a farm, walk around. Okay. That's great. Can I go outside now? Oh, wow, Takakura built that fast. Wait, can I... How do you... No. Where is it? Wait, how do you... Uh, isn't there a way to, to, to whistle? Did they take away my, my whistle? Or is it a, a different button now? I'm like hitting all these, all these back buttons. Oh, you have to, oh. I'm just stupid. <laughs> come here, doggo. No, doggo. Bessie, come here, girl. Come here, girl. Ah, uh, Bessie's sleeping. All right, well, that's fine. This place is for your animal. Okay, why are these people talking to me so much? In the original, they didn't really do much of anything. I don't know how I feel about this. What in the? Oh, they brought back those? Really? I thought they were all going to be... How come the cows look normal, but the rest of these animals look kind of weird? Uh, interesting. Okay, but does it... That's definitely not the original sound effect. I think I can lie to, but whatever. All right, well, let's go in here. Uh, what is this? Can I get in here? I can get in here. Also, that door didn't make a... Oh, what the... That door did not make a sound effect, but whatever. Uh, bag. Do I have... I do! How do I use that? Oh, this is how. Wait, maybe not. <laughs> yes, it is. I'm just stupid. Hello, uh... BB... I don't... I gotta learn these buttons, oh gosh. Slow start. I'm sorry, people. Whoa, what the... Oh! I didn't even pick any of those up. They just, like, kind of got sucked into me. Interesting. All right. Um, I don't know. How do I feed you? I'm assuming the... The baler's full. Is that this thing? Okay, yeah, here we go. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Interesting. So, in the original, these were in... I'm assuming this is... Is this the food thing? Yeah, okay. The original, those are bigger too. But these are all up in the left-hand corner. So they kind of changed. Can I push, BB? No, but the Earth can shake violently. Oh, God. No, I don't want to show her. I want to put... Oh, wait. I can just put it in here? Will that add to the... It will! All right, cool. All right, sorry for the slow start to this game, but I hope you guys are really into this because... Uh... We're going to be doing this a while. Like, this this is, like, one of my favorite games of all time. So, we're definitely going to be playing this up. Speaking of, wait, what, what what are we at for time? 28 minutes. Honestly, I think I think I'll, I'll cut this one short because I would like to do a whole lot in one video. Uh, so, this was the introduction to this game. I'm pretty dang excited about this. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun watching this. And uh, I'm going to be posting two videos today. But I think I want to try and keep it to, like, a video a day. You know, trying to actually do this like a, a real YouTuber, you know. Get the most bang for my buck out of content here. Hey, 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 these are one of your fields. If you want to find more about raising crops, don't forget to check Takakura's notes. Oh, my God. Quit talking about Takakura's notes. I Why are they so emphasizing Takakura? Like, the original, these elves talk to you once, and you never see them again unless you discover them in that tree. Which, I guess, uh, I'll show you guys that in this video. Why not? 
how do I, there's like a way I can go there from here. There it is. Yeah, we'll go up there. Why not? I guess that, that's how we'll end it. We'll show you that. Oh, this is really pretty. Oh, look at all this. I like this. This is, this is good design. I like this. Ooh, is the crocodile or lizard up here? I think it was a crocodile over here. There's like wild... Oh, God. <laughs> He's over there praising the sun! Ooh! That's, that's absolutely beautiful. Alright, pick up some flowers here. Why not? The ladies love flowers. We will take these. Actually, as a matter of fact... Wait, he hasn't gone in there yet. If I do this fast enough... I can go over there and get something for Muffy. Not that I'm going for Muffy, but we could get a cutscene out of her. Samian, what is that? Oh, it's a person. What the? Looks like they were floating. What in the actual hell? No. Moe. Pooey. It is Moe. What did they do to you? I'm called Pooey uh, or Poi. I'll call him Poi. That sounds better than Pewey. I'm Poi, traveling to Coco Island. Very far away is a dream of my Coco Va Island. What happened to Popo or Tuck something Valley? What? All right. Uh, very far away is dream of mine. But to get there, my purse must jingle jangle very loudly. Is that a little flower cup he has? Dude, what happened to this guy? He used to look like a homeless dude with fleas. Now he's like... He's literally decked out in grass clothing and has butterflies with him. What the? Dude, you, you went up in the world. I traded many items of mine for coins, but still it was not enough. You have the face of a good person. Yes, I can tell. Would you help your good friend, uh, Poi, dream happen? No. I didn't help you then, and I won't help you now. Ooh, there's four of these things now. I think there was only two in the original. Uh, but this is their home. They they live in that tree there. Uh, so that's where they live. And yeah, you would never really see them unless you went in there. For whatever reason. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys are excited about this just as much as I am. And we'll uh, see you then. Take care, everybody!